You can't do anything with that. Just go to the library. Wait a minute. I'm trying to manage to do it for a moment. I actually got on the chair for a second, I think. I do not believe so. Just go to the library, Gabe. I went up and then down, so... Confirm that's downstairs? Mm-hmm. Well, wait, I actually think you're supposed to go through your mom and dad's room. Because you're, like, right there. Because that's where it leads to. It's in the closet. Oh. That's not what the note said. It said it was in the... Well, it goes to or... the library. Oh. Okay. It's just that wall right there. See, this was here before, and this is why I'm really scared of you just randomly clicking on walls, so don't do that, please. <laughs> There's a note. Ghost Hunter Ghost. Sam and Lonnie's secret house investigation log. Hidden compartments found three. In the library, upstairs hall, and foyer. Evidence of the supernatural is discovered zero. So I think we're supposed to go to the library one first since we're already here. I know where it is also, so just go into the library. I. Wow. Okay. Go to the library. All the okay. way to the end, right next to the radiator. All the way to the right. Yes, I know. The other one. No, the other wall. You said to the right. Yes, on the same wall as the radiator. Okay. Misfits. Cool. There's a voice. At Todd's brother's place after the show, there was only a futon to sleep on, so Lonnie and I shared it. The lights went hey. out. I was turned toward her. My eyes started to adjust, and then I could see she was looking at me, too. In the dark, she smiled. My heart was beating so fast. I rolled over. I felt so, I don't know, nervous? After a minute, she put her arm around me, and was so close, and whispered in my ear, I really like you. I just nodded my head, and I really hoped she could tell. I really hoped that she meant what I think she did. I felt like a shook-up so can of soda ever since. I hope we have the chance to talk before I explode. So gay. Private, do not read. Heaven at the Edge of the World, Part 2. Allegra and her scouting party peered down warily through the dense canopy of rustling leaves from the perch high in the forest branches. Mere feet away, sunlight shone brightly off the inner ice walls of the glacial basin in which the forest grew. It was a strange sight indeed, such lushness juxtaposed with the frigid ice formations. Allegra left fo leapt forward without hesitation, bounding through the high branches. The first mate had been captured by the Green Glacier's Amazonian tribe. His life hung in the balance. We have to hurry. Allegra's party followed behind, moving quite... Okay. Yeah. The, uh, you remember when I said that it's really gay? You know how I can prove it's gay? Because up it... Because up until this point right here, it was always male. And then the next one... For some reason, the first mate is a female. The f first mate was a female ever since the newer version. When she this was is a new version. The second when grade, she when she was friends with Lonnie and had a huge lady boner. Yes. The second grade one, it was male, but the last one In we read one, was male. also female. Yeah, well, no, the last one, but was that female. was after Lonnie. Yes, but it was still this female. one. So the newer one was, ones are the first mate is a girl. This one was a few years ago. This one was before Lonnie, and that's why it's male. She is fucking homosexual. Uh, why you gotta hurt Sam like this? Why you gotta sue why is your it sexuality, hurting her? my dude? 
His life hung in the balance. We have to hurry. Allegra's party followed behind, moving quietly as a breeze through the greenery. Allegra landed in the clearing and shouted, Stop! She saw the Queen Amazonian up on her pedestal, reaching for the lever that would drop her first mate into the vat below. She shouted, No! and flung her saber at the Amazonian reaching hand, but it was too late. The first mate screamed as he fell to the water, and then splashed down and all was eerily silent. Allegra looked on, frozen in fear and remorse. She had been a moment too late. But then, from the vat, something began to emerge. A head of dark brown hair, just like the first mate's, then shoulders and sleeves of his coat, soaking wet. But as the figure stood and the water poured down, Allegra saw that the first mate had changed. He was no longer a man at all. In fact, what looked to be as if... Look back at her were the eyes, the face, the hair, and the head... The hands and the body of a woman, still in the first mate's clothes. Still the first mate. He... She spoke in a soft, clear voice... Captain, the Amazonian queen s said, "She is one of us now. She is ours." Allegra drew her magical flintlock pistol from her belt, and she and her crew readied their swords. Allegra glared into the queen's eyes and said, "That's the love of my life, and you can't have her." Gay. Hey, it's not gay. Technically, bye. She was in love with him before he was before she was a girl. Gay. So it seems like that's part of the code. And the last one's right across from uh, Sam's room. Right, three sons. Okay, 51. That doesn't matter, Gabe. You just had to put in the numbers. That's not the full code, though. So, the last number is um in the one that's right across from Sam's room. Yeah, I'm just looking at everything I can do at this point. We are almost two hours into this game. Not really, because you were gone forever, but... Sorry. Yeah. The hell is this doing here? It doesn't belong here. Hello? Hello? Who are you, Oscar? What do you want to come back? You didn't hear that? Mm hmm. So it's oh. 051, I think it was. 0510. 0510. Well, it's 050. You're gonna go into Lonnie's room? Here you go. Lonnie's room? Really? Sam's room. Shit. Sorry. Right. It was 51. I was right. Bitch. Yeah, I said 50. Whatever. Lonnie came over today, but everything was different. She was really sitting in this chair, and she wouldn't look at me. Finally, I asked her what was going on. She said she felt like she'd done something wrong that night in the city. Like I must think... But I said no. There was nothing wrong. I just wanted to say... But I couldn't find the words. It felt like I was gonna cry, but I wasn't sad. She got up and sat next to me on the bed. I looked at her. And she looked Lonnie, at me. Do you think you could ever... And that's when she kissed me. <laughs> there we go. Teenage lesbians are so cute! So you got the key to the basement, which is the door that was all the way at the end of the hallway where, like, the yeah. um, TV room was. I'm just making sure I didn't miss out on anything in here. You didn't. You didn't. I'm so happy they kissed my cute little teenage lesbian. Really? I didn't miss anything? It's not really important at all. It's just a cassette tape. Case. There's a bunch of them all over the house. There's no voice thing after you pick it up anyway. It was something that Lonnie gave her though, so I like it. It's too bad though. What? That I, uh, that they can go fuck themselves. What? They weren't. They didn't hear. They didn't get here from my reunion party. Now I'm gonna steal all their shit and leave. I'm going back to freaking uh, Europe. 
It was the other one. Well, you don't need to tell me that. I'm checking. This is an adventure game. Deal with it, Cassie. Rude. Unless I'm going to make a mistake that will impact me in some way, don't bother mentioning it. That would have impacted your life. Bitch. Mm -hmm. Wait, did I ever read this? Yes. Go back up real quick. Go back just to the middle part. I think there was a light switch there that you could pull. I just don't know if there's anything like on the wall. Look, look on the floor and stuff. No. Okay, we're good. You can keep going. Yeah, no, I can. That was weird. Gabe, I please, I beg you, please do not do it again. Potato. I don't, I don't want generic potato chips. Oh. Garbage. It's different now. Hello. I mean, we still hang out all the time like before, but now when no one else is around, that's what I meant. Don't well, do you it. Know. Don't do it. No. So you could say we're dating, but it's secret. Secret, secret dating? dating? I don't know. I mean, I guess that's the real difference. Now when we get off the phone or go home for the night, or it's just quiet and we're alone, we say I love you. Hi, Cass. What? Hi. Hi. It's so cute. My little cute teenage lesbian. So cute. Make my heart go up. What? Hmm? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> gay? Ha! Gay! By the way, I knew you were gonna fucking call that she was gay. She's gay as fuck, even before she was gay. Oh yeah. Go over that way first, because it's just like the little area right there. Look around it though. First! Wow, it's like the YouTube comment section. <laughs> I can no longer zoom in though. Oh man, one of my old sex ed assignments! Just look at it. Oh no, please! <laughs> I'm gonna kill myself! They may not have to sit through this, but I fucking do! <laughs> I threw in that there for when I head back up. <sighs> okay. Look at the sex ed assignment. Go over. Caitlin Greenbrier. We're not gonna read this one, but go over. She just did the exact boring thing. Caitlin's so. She's such a fucking normie. Wait, 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 wait. Open source develop why the Cassie? Hmm? Did Sam read Caitlin's thing and just add lines to it? No, that's what the worksheet says. The worksheet says you're supposed to use these lines and make a story. Caitlin did the oh, boring normie okay. thing where she just used those lines. Sam did the cool thing where she made an actual story out of it. And also, there's our plaque. I wish I could zoom in on this. Oh, wait, no, yeah, I can't. I, it's a different button on this one. Not N, K it's is for, for Normie. There we go. Don't want to touch that. How do you open it and stick your head in? No. Where's the uh what the button is it to pay? What? What's what's the button to pay respects again? What? Press F. What? What? Why is this plugged in? Why is it knocked over? Is actually a better question. Mm. Hey, it's one of granddad's books. What? 
How would you recognize that as being one of your grandfather's books? Because it says his name on it. Oh, okay. Dear Samantha, congratulations. I'm pleased to inform you of your admission There's to creative writing track this, of I think. Reed College Summer Program for Young Scholars for its 90, 1995 session. We believe you have much to contribute to that thing. Based on your portfolio and academic record, I'm also pleased to offer you your financial aid to cover 75% of the summer program's tuition and fees. The attached documentation delineates delineates your schedule, optional secondary track choices, and your dormitory assignment. Please remember to submit the attached form if you wish to be eligible for one of the Reed full-time undergraduate scholarships to be awarded to exemplary students at the end of each summer program. We, must, we very much look forward to your attendance. Again, congratulations to your admittance and best wishes for all of us at Reed College. I'm so stupid sometimes. I was telling Lonnie that I got into yeah. my college summer program thing, and I was all making plans like, you should come visit me, stay in my dorm room. But she said, Sam, I ship out on June 6th. I was like, ship out? To where? She said, to basic training. What did you think I was doing all that ROTC stuff for? I guess she's been planning to join the army right after high school since she was like, 12. And I guess she's really going to do it. So I was like, after graduation, I'm just never going to see you again? She said, let's just have fun while we can. Thank you for sending on a copy of your newly published book and author's first published manuscript. The first published manuscript is a momentous occasion. I read it this afternoon. I certainly recognize my son in this subject of the matter. An author's worth work is the externalization of that which he holds dear and that which he fears. And in this respect, I believe your work was a success. But the lens through which the person shown was needlessly clouded by genre cliches and implausible dime store science fictional day ex... That's machina. not how you spell that. That's not how you spell that. Deus ex, Deus ex Machina. The great authors speak of their lifetime's milio, milu in clear and honest tones, the lens crystal that refracts their thoughts without distortion. I congratulate you on surviving the ordeal that is publication, and rest assured that the readers of your chosen genre will lap up copies hungrily. But I urge you to shed artifice artifice you can do better with a father's love and encouragement richard greenbrier phd okay. i'm gonna pretend like that's burning and call that one good you know it'd be even more torture her knowing that there's one where she can't get it Katie! God damn! You were the worst. You were the brought worst of people. Look at that right there on the cardboard box. Right there. I. Basically, our mom, um. Yeah. It's our mom's, uh, citizenship papers. She's from Canada. And you know what's really funny? A little tidbit what? for anybody watching this. I actually watched a bunch of the uh, guys who made the game talk about it, and the reason that the mom is Canadian is because they had actual real-life people come in to write the notes so it would actually look like a mom's handwriting. But the problem is the moms they had come in to write for their mom's handwriting were Canadian, so they wrote certain words with use, like neighborhood and stuff like that. So they were like, okay, well... Instead of just getting them to rewrite everything, mom's Canadian now. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Could you be mine? Could you be my neighbor? 14 karat gold heart pendant in two halves, customizable with 10 letters, names, dates, initials, anything you can dream up, gift box imported, L and S. I wonder who that's for. I wonder. 
Have you seen this before? Uh, no, I don't. Maybe. I don't know. Get it? Oh, you can't open it. Okay, never mind. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can open it. I didn't realize you could, so it's not. I think that's it, so don't go over there. Go into that little room that was back there. Go into there first. Look around here. Girl There's a voice Scout, thing after the this. The band formerly known as Cub Scout. Set list. Role model authority. Okay, all of those songs will be murdered. Todd's band up. lost their singer. Todd said he sucked. Lonnie said he got sick of Todd's shit. And he was complaining about needing a new singer. So Lonnie was like, I can sing. And they were all kind of like, you can? And she was like, probably. But she's been rehearsing with them for like a week now. And I finally got to see them play in Todd's basement today. And she's actually really amazing. I feel so proud when she's on stage. It's incredible being in awe of someone you love. So everybody knows it's like a temporary situation till she ships out in June. But till then, I'm gonna be at every single show. Well, Cossut. We get to listen to Girl Scout now. That's Lonnie. I'm just kidding. You can't read any of the things in there. But look, oh. do you see that right then under I'm, there? Then I'm not kidding. Do you see that piece of paper under the thing? Throw away your trash. Uh, not that, but okay. Oh, this is what I saw. Dear Sam, I'm so happy you liked the drawing. I was thinking of us when I drew it. I knew you'd be able to tell. You'd love Mexico. I think probably. The nature here is totally different than back home. I keep thinking about Alge Allegra and the first mate <laughs> lost on a uh, lost on a mission? Mysterious. A mysterious island where even the plants are able to get them. Or out to get them. And then I was thinking, then I think of them together, but then the wilderness together. And I was thinking of you again. I... Something here, and I lie here in bed, and I can almost feel you. I've been trying to save it up for when we are together again. I haven't done a good job, okay? But I tried. Okay, enough about that. Your last letter has got to be, got to me the day before we start driving back north. We'll be racing this letter home. If I get home first, we can read it together. And yes, I'm taking tons of photographs. When we spend, we'll have to spend so much time in the dark room. Oh, okay, yeah, because photographs. That makes sense. Alright, look at the... there, right there. Yes, I know. It's like a drug. The first time was in my room was in the middle of the night. I woke up and Lonnie was kissing me. The locks... <laughs> <laughs> so you nope. can't read that anymore because say, uh, Katie refuses, so I have I I... the note up here. Nope. So it says Definitely not reading more of that. I woke up not and gonna happen. Was, I woke up and Lonnie was kissing me. The clock said three thirteen. Her face was spectral in its dim red light, and then I could only feel her. It was different than any time I'd done it myself. My head was swimming. I felt disembodied, transported bodily, like being caught in a powerful current, having no control and wanting none. It broke and I didn't want anything but it again, like a drug. Strategy. Sleepovers are good, but there have been close calls. The basement is good, but cold and smelly. My car is good, but riskier still, and cramped. Someday we won't have to sneak around anymore. Oh. Made sure to pull that up for you, bud. 